Yalta was founded by the Greeks in the first century. On the southern shore of the Crimean Peninsula, Yalta is a major seaport. The population is about 110,000. Americans remember Yalta as the site of the peace conference during World War II between Churchill, Roosevelt, and Stalin. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A wonderful good morning on today's Thursday, the 28th of July. It is 8 o'clock and 38 minutes. We are in Yalta. Welcome to this beautiful small city. We will be going out today at 9 o'clock for our city tour visiting the White Forest. And we've got a tomorrow we have to take note of the day. Seconds study and then became Roosevelt's bedroom.
in Yalta overnight. And here's the scene in the harbor.
shallow indentation of the Black Sea coast about 275 miles south of Kyiv. Odessa is the largest port in Ukraine with well-equipped docks and ship repair yards. It is a base of a large fishing fleet. Odessa's population is over one million. We're finally docked in Odessa and this is the ship we're sailing on. Uh, this area was under Turkish domination, and there were these Russian-Turkish wars all the time. Turkish Turks would seize uh, the land, then Russians would take it back, then again back, uh, and so on and so forth. Definitely. Oh, for, for good, the Turkish fortress was captured by the Russian army under Potemkin in 1789. Railway station, look on the right, 1950s. This style is referred to as socialist realism. It was the mainstream movement encompassing the works of nearly all Soviet artists. When famous composer Shostakovich was asked what does socialist realism in music mean, he answered this is the tune that Joseph Stalin can whistle. <laughs>
Wie, wie to wyszło, no? Istanbul. Well, it seems that the flight has been delayed 
because the pilots are on strike. It's about 9 o'clock and the pilots will decide, I'm told, around 10 o'clock whether they will fly us to Istanbul or not. I'm not overly concerned because we have a hotel room in Istanbul and one way or the other, Viking will put us up at a hotel either there or here in Odessa. But there are a number of people who are flying to Istanbul to connect with other flights and they've already missed their flights. So it's going to be interesting. On our plane flying from Odessa to Istanbul. We arrived at the airport at 5.30 and 10 hours later we got to board. That's because there was a, a strike. It was the not knowing and finally um, it changed from delayed to time to board um, it, it was awfully hot in the airport and we finally got some water and they brought us boxed lunch. This is our first and last trip with Viking. Flight. There had been a strike that started right when we were supposed to depart at 7. So after finally arriving, we decided to order room service. We had lentil soup that was, was out of this world. We both shared it and all gone. Yeah, and I'm eating um, a sautéed seafood spaghetti, a signature dish here. What do you have, Bob? It's a Turkish dish and it's a beef and lamb kebab over straw potatoes served with coriander. Mm -hmm. And the uh, special... And a grilled pepper, which we've already eaten. It that is used to make chili rellenos. Very good. And it also came with a basket of rolls. And Assorted rolls, very good. And something to drink. And beautiful hotel. Conrad International Hotel. This is the view of Istanbul from our hotel room on the 10th floor. It just went on and then off. And our beautiful orange suitcases here. And over here, a little mini bar. And the fridge underneath. Istanbul was originally known as Constantinople. During its long history, Istanbul served as the capital of the Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, the Latin Empire, and the Ottoman Empire. When the Republic of Turkey was proclaimed on October 29, 1923, Ankara, which had previously served as the headquarters of the Turkish national movement during the Turkish War of Independence was chosen as the capital. Istanbul was chosen as a joint European capital of culture for 2010 and the European capital of sports. The historic areas of the city were added to the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1985. Yeah, we also um so what they work in. Sausages with potatoes around them, deep fried and absolutely fantastic. Olives, meat, cheese, bread pudding, bacon, mushrooms, the list goes on and on. And of course, pastries. 
Let me just end. It's just an arm from Bosporus. Okay. And you can see now a little hill on the left hand side, a tower. So this tower is belonging to Topkan Palace, which will be in the East Borough. You can see it is on Sophia. Walking toward the Blue Mosque. Nice places that you can do better pictures than now. Yeah. And here's the one who sings the Paul Inside the Blue Mosque. Sultan's tomb, Hagia Sophia. Now closer to San Sophia is about 1,400 years old. This is about 1,000 years older than the Blue Mosque. So how old is the Sultan's tomb? The mausoleums, you yes. mean. The mausoleums, uh, the Sultan died 1623. Okay. So each of the Sultan is also is always buried in his mosque. Okay? The first one was built from the Imperial Constantine for his mother. So she was called Helena. And she was belonging to the first believers of the Christian religion. So that's why he also allowed to practice the people of the religion, Christian religion. And he built them the first church over there on the left of the corner which was a very simple one and 404 years after 105 less than 100 years so the first church burns up from Constantine also the millionaires are from the outside then it was uh, converted to a mosque so it became the minaret and after 1934 it was used as a uh, mosque for 600 which one show to the east to Jerusalem to Christian one and the other shows to Mecca to southeast. Uh, if you look to the inside of the building take pictures I give you 25 minutes until 20 past 10.
problem. It's crazy in it. Yeah. <laughs> Bazaar um, is wonderful. It's overwhelming. It has too many choices for me. Gaga with jewelry and rugs and furs. So many things. Now what is this? We found a very good Turkish restaurant, actually close to Dulles Airport. Crappies, yeah. The main course is coming. And this is Dorado or Seed Bream. No, no, smaller. This guy whose father was a veterinarian outside of London, Ontario, and ran out into the road and they ran out. Very nice. <laughs> On the right hand side, you can see the San Sofia, right? Yeah. Left the blue mosque, right the San Sofia. This is the kitchen area. So you can visit the parliament. Okay? So the kitchen from the 16th century, there was about eight on the This is the parliament building. You have the most of this. And one surprise for you, I didn't know that. Because he had 
The lines to get into the palace rooms are very long. And once you get in, they don't allow you to take any pictures inside. So you'll have to take my word for it that it's quite a place. This is the third courtyard. This is where all the public rooms are. Bishops live here. These are the remains of the original Saint Sophia from Constantine. From the first one, from Imperial Constantine, the Saint Sophia, the founder went from it. The oldest one, the first one. This is a cistern that was built in the 6th century to supply water for the city of Istanbul. 300 yards below the street level. tomorrow but right now we're in the 14th floor bar of the Conrad Hotel overlooking the Bosphorus. Ahead of us across the strait is the Asian side. And looking out this way we see the old city. Ahead of us is the Blue Mosque, over in the old city. The view up here is absolutely spectacular. Yeah. Where are you from? 
Right now, for a long time, it's Washington. There's this famous Surigan Palace Hotel. Formerly a palace. What you drink in there? That's my first mojito ever. It is refreshing. I asked Klaus and his wife what they were drinking. I'm going to be chosen for dinner here. Beef and chicken shish kebab with salad and tzatziki sauce. What do you have? I'm afraid I've already messed up the plate, but it's <laughs> skewered shrimp. Tiger prawns. Right, with supposedly spicy, but not really. With pineapple and basmati rice and zucchini. And a bowl of rolls. <clears throat> nice little thing with drinks here. Nuts and cherries. Fresh cherries, yeah. And a million dollar view. Yes, it is. Well, I found at the party this is not actually a wedding, but just a small business get together. It started to get dark here. The sun has, is going down. Looking out at the uh, phosphorus again, you can see the lights on the bridge to the Asian side. getting ready to board our flight. We've been through the security and passport checks. Now we just have to wait for the boarding check. We are flying to Frankfurt and then on to Dallas after changing flight. Finally, we are on the United 7 Seven. After many, many, many security checks, and we will be delighted to be heading off back to Dallas Airport, and I don't have much left to finish in my book.